Hello everyone, this is James from One Objective. And in this video, we're gonna be cutting down the shaft of a trolling motor, so stay tuned. One in the wound, where well, they can say they shot two, they see the pregnant one. <laughs> giant wave of, of shad spawn going on. Like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be cutting the shaft down on a trolling motor today. This is just some of the tools that I use when I'm cutting it down. I use a jigsaw or a sawzall, a drill. You'll need a small bit and a big bit to do if you want to use the one objective conversion cap. And that's where we're going to cut this one down. A regular Phillips head. We got a drill with a Phillips head and we got a little piece of metal here. And I'll show you what that's all for. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking the screws out of the head of the trolling motor. There should be six screws in this handle if you're using like a Minn Kota. So you'll take the first six out. Then the head just pops off. So you just take this off. What I normally do is just pull this out, pull this handle off, and we can pretty much discard them. We won't be using them anymore. Pull your switch apart. And there's no really no need to worry about, you know, where they go or anything on the switch because it's all right here. This is your batteries, your battery negative, your battery positive. And then this is your black and red that go to the uh, your main trolling motor. And this is your white and your yellow that go to your trolling motor. So just put this to the side because that's something that you want to hold on to. This is your main power cable that would hook to a battery if you were going to hook it that way. So you can just pull that out of the way for now. Like I said, you probably want to hold on to that as well. Just make sure you pull all these little cables that are in some little... little catches right here keep them keep you from pulling them out and then after that's all said and done there's a screw here and it's got a nut on the other side so you can just pull this out make sure you pull it all the way out This one goes all the way through the shaft. I said you probably won't need that anymore either. And that comes all the way off. <clears throat> and then you can take this off, just slide right up and over. Release this. And then this comes right off. So then you're just stuck with the trolling motor in the shaft and your wires hanging out of the top. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna cut the shaft down. There was one other thing that I didn't put up there that I had laying down on the floor, which was my tape measure. And you will definitely need a tape measure if you're gonna cut this down. The way that I like to measure the shaft is always just butt right here. And we're gonna go on what we normally do is 24 inches. And we'll cut the shaft right here. If I can see what I marked. Right there. <clears throat> and then that's where this piece of metal comes in handy. So I normally try to line it up with the back side and I sh shove a piece of metal down in there so that it is. So you're drilling on this side and your wires are on this side. So there's no chance of you getting into them. 
So you just kind of hold them snug. And now what I do is I just take and turn your motor so it's kind of facing you. And then this hole up here should be pretty much in the same line as your motor. So try to drill pretty close to in line with that. And I normally drill a smaller hole first. And then I'll step it up to a bigger bit. This is a half inch bit. Like I said, just keeping all your wires on that side. And there you go, you're through the shaft. And then I pull this out because you're done that part now. And then I fish the wires right back down through the shaft to your hole. And just do one at a time. And I normally will do the red and black first because they are your fatter wires. So they're gonna be the hardest ones to get through. And then I fish the other ones through. Works sometimes a little bit better if you can put a little hook on her and shoving it in. And see then, you're left with your wires down here. So now when you go to cut your shaft, you don't have to worry about hitting your wires anymore. And that's when I'll just take this, and I like to leave this hole hanging down a little bit more for the one objective um, cap that we use, the motor cap. And then just taking, there you go. And that is the way that I cut down a trolling motor shaft if you're going to put it on a kayak. If you're going to cut it down for any reason, um, that's just the easiest way that I've came across it. Um, if you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of stuff like this coming out. A lot of how-tos and a lot of other stuff that we do. So um, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the water.